Welcome back on Gaming, this is Devin, and yes, I still do play Pokemon Go, but hey, it's real popular right now. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone's showing their photos of their brand new customizable avatar and such, but no, I just wanted to go ahead and look at this uh, new update with the avatars just because there's several things I sort of wanted to talk about and make people aware of with this brand new update. So sort of the first thing I want to look at is uh, that there's a sweet baby ink kind of company i want to make sort of people aware of regarding this new update which i think they're sort of to blame for all this uh then also there's a lot of people you know showing funny and goofy photos of these new avatars and what they're made up of and then also um just like i said in the beginning still do play pokemon go very heavily deep into pokemon go as well so i do watch a lot of youtubers get a lot of news and that uh regarding pokemon go but i find it very interesting that if you go ahead and look at a lot of pokemon go youtubers they're pretty silent on all of this they're talking about what new updates are coming to the game regarding like events and that but they have not specifically talked about the avatars so um find that very very weird very weird but uh yeah let's go ahead and get into it so uh to start off just wanted to go ahead and look at the sweet baby ink kind of company that i think is the blame for the update in pokemon go uh, if you do not know who sweet baby ink is they're a consulting company that works with video game developers and they go ahead and add diversity inclusion in the gaming they also go ahead and make video game companies lose a lot of money and also make the product trash so for example of that we have spider-man 2 which was on ps5 they went ahead and worked on the story of the game and the weakest part of that game was the story. And then we also have the Suicide Squad Kills the Justice League, which if you go ahead and look at the player count right now for Steam, there's only about 300 active players within 24 hours. And uh, this game came out not too long ago. And also there was a brand new update for the game as well. So we can clearly see that, that anything that Sweet Baby Ink touched was trash. And then uh, the reason why I bring up Sweet Baby Ink is because uh, when the Suicide Squad game was coming out, we started hearing about Sweet Baby Ink a little bit more. And then there was a lot of information about other companies that sort of do similar things to Sweet Baby Ink. And one of them I saw was Gamer X. And they're a company that does consulting and training. And some of their uh, clients include Dead by Daylight, which they already have a character that they created for their game, which... Um, there's a lot about that um and then also they also work with niantic and if you ever play pokemon go the first screen you see is the niantic name and logo so of course they work with niantic and with everything that they do with um you know shoving diversity into games um we can clearly tell from this new update that they had a lot of influence on that if we go ahead and look at how pokemon go the uh, changing your avatar was before this update there was either male or female and then of course you can change some stuff based off that now if you go ahead and look at it there's just a bunch of different things that you can sort of change with your character with like the the face eye color uh, body type and that but with the faces there's about seven different faces you could choose from and then what basically you get out of anything that you make for your character in pokemon go now it's basically if you wanted to go ahead and make a female character it's basically a female character that looks a little bit masculine then you have if you wanted to make a male character uh the male character looks a little bit feminine so uh but without facial hair because pokemon go does not allow facial hair but um, actually bringing it back to Sweet Baby Inc. If you went ahead and put Mary Jane from Spider-Man 2 into Pokemon Go, she'd fit in perfectly. But um, aside from that, um, we can clearly tell though that you know they heavily influence what happened in this game. So that's why I'm saying that I think that Gamer X is to blame for this new update. And um, of course, I think that it's very important for their name to get out there just because, you know, I think it was very important for Sweet Baby Inc.'s name to get out there. So I think, you know, having Gamer X be out there uh, is very good for uh, gamers out there. But 
Um, aside from that, then with the photos that are out there for this new update, uh, there's a lot of interesting ones, a lot of funny ones. I mean, there's one where you can sort of see up the character's skirt. Then, of course, there's a lot of people out there that are upset that, you know, showed before and after photos of their character, um, showing how um, some of the buttocks are not accurate to what they some people want on, you know, social media. Um, and then also, it's sort of funny how some people, in, including myself, uh, there's some kind of like outfits in that that you can just sort of change what you completely look like um and those look very similar to how they used to look as well so the one i use is like the the pokeball head where you can't even see the face so a lot of people were doing that where you go ahead and put like basically costume um costumes on your face or a mask over your face or that so then you know you really don't have to even look at the face itself um and then the other thing that's very weird is that like the tan or white look is like bleach white so i i don't know but i mean with with all that stuff i mean it's it's not necessarily i would say just being you know a player of pokemon go and i've been playing ever since the beta and that um i mean it's i i don't i don't know necessarily if everybody's necessarily upset about these avatars and that i mean it is a goofy kind of thing but there's so many more things that are upsetting people with pokemon go just to begin with so i mean this is just a, another thing added on i mean they had the um they added more i mean they made uh, raid passes a dollar extra uh they limit the amount of raid passes you can do and then also there's still a lot of bugs that are not even fixed or acknowledged to begin with and then they're adding new customizations to you know how your character can look when they can't even do the bugs themselves fix them so it just seems sort of weird that they went ahead and did this when they could have been fixing other things and knowing how they are uh, with this new update of sort of customizations of them um, there's going to be a lot more issues that are going to be created from having this new update um, that they probably won't fix and have broken for about a month or so. But um, that's sort of the, the other thing that sort of comes from this is that, you know, a lot of uh, fans or players of this game um, aren't happy to begin with. And now there's just another thing added on that makes people a little bit upset with this game. Um, and then sort of to finish this off, of course, we have a bunch of uh, YouTubers or influencers for Pokemon Go. And of course, right now, from what I see, because I, of course, I, I, I watch a few of them and they're not saying a word about this. I haven't seen anyone talk about the whole avatar thing. Instead, they're talking about some grass event that's coming up in Pokemon Go rather than this whole thing, because I know, you know, if they were to be talking about this they probably get some views and such a lot of views for this and uh you know because everyone's talking about this right now and it's sort of crazy that all these uh content creators are not talking about this but i mean i can sort of understand in a way why they're not and i mean the first thing i could think of is that there's a lot of influencers on out there that are um tight with niantic so of course they're not gonna want to say anything bad about it because they don't want to be on Niantic's bad side or not be, you know, invited to Pokemon Go Fest or whatever next event that is going on. And then also the second thing is that they maybe do not want to talk about because they don't want to be labeled as a certain thing. So, you know, they're sort of scared to talk about anything. But, you know, it's it's sort of weird that, you know, everyone's talking about it on social media except for the, the YouTubers that make content on it. But, you know. It is what it is. I think we've seen that with other things out there. Um, but anyways, let me know what you think in uh, the comments below. But again, just want to say that I want to make everyone aware, of course, of GamerX. Um, just because, like I said, they're another company. It's a Sweet Baby Ink kind of company out there. Um, but uh, let me know in the comments below what you guys think. And uh, we'll see you soon. Bye.